The Washington Wizards signed Tristan Vucevic to a two-way contract with their eye towards the future. This was a really good deal for the future. I'm going to tell you why next on Locked On Wizards. You are Locked On Wizards, your daily Washington Wizards podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Scott, again, and I appreciate you guys making Locked On Wizards your first listen every single day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day. And tonight's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code Locked On NBA for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. So tonight we're going to talk about Tristan Vucevic was signed to a two-way contract, and why was this an important move for the future? I'm going to tell you why. And we're going to take a look at the the new City Edition jerseys for the Washington Wizards. They're actually my favorites, um, outside of the the original District ones. So we're going to look at which ones were the best, which ones are the worst, and then we're going to look forward uh, to the rest of the week. Obviously, tomorrow is the Fourth of July, so. Uh, definitely this is fourth of july eve so i definitely want to uh, get this content out for you guys uh for you guys that are traveling man so let's get into it tristan vucevic was signed to a two-way contract now why is this an important deal not only for the present but for the future at the center position and so i'm gonna tell you why because they are making moves that are aligned with the timeline which is development right if you look at the center position right now um, obviously, we just drafted Alex R, who plays the four and the five, so you can definitely put him in uh, the center rotation, technically, even though he wants to play the four. And I definitely see him um, starting at the four. Now, but, you know, looking at the center position, obviously, we just signed uh, Jonas Valachunas. We have Marvin Megley the third, and we have Rashawn Holmes. So the center rotation is – the we got death at that position, which if you look at last year, man, death was an issue, man, especially, toward, you know, uh, in the first half of the season – and, and um and little you know and really the second half of the season too more so the second half now, now that I think about it because we were running Denny and Kyle Kuzma in small ball five man so it got dire in the second half when a lot of injuries hit you know Rashawn Holmes did well um Marvin Bagley third dealt with injuries and Tristan Vucevic very raw and the minutes flu- the minutes fluctuated so why is this a good move for the future well the reason why is it is an immaculate move for the future is Tristan Vucevic has the opportunity to be properly developed, which if you look at the Washington Wizards, what has been the biggest knock, if not one of the biggest knocks against the Washington Wizards as far as prospects? Uh, you know, first of all, missing in the draft. Second of all, not developing the talent that we dra- do draft. So if you look at Tristan Vucevic, you know, obviously he was a second-round pick, had a two-year contract. Um, a lot of people were kind of shocked by them declining his option. But then now with, you know, with this outcome, really good move, really good move because, again, we can take our time to properly develop him. You know, on the two-way contract, he's going to spend a lot of time with the Capital City Go-Go. And we know what the Go-Go can do. You know, if you look at the track record of what uh, the uh, general manager, Amber Nichols, has been able to do with the Capital City Go-Go and with the staff over there, immaculate job, immaculate job, because they've had a lot of young talent there that they have given quality minutes to. But the big key to all this is they get them ready to play when indeed is their time to play, when their name is called. You know, we, in the last couple of years, we've dealt with a lot of injuries, especially dating back to COVID. You know, we've had a lot of, you know, if you look at the past three years, we've had guys like, you know, Jared Butler. We've had guys like Jordan Goodwin come up and play and earn NBA contracts because the Capital City Go-Go are getting them ready to play. They're playing good minutes in the Capital City Go-Go as far as the G League, man. Um, you saw Johnny Davis. He played well in G League. We know he's had his struggles in the NBA. But I can't really stress enough how important the Capital City Go-Go has been with not only – working with this young talent that they're, you know, accumulating in D.C., but developing them, getting them ready to play. Like I said, Jared Butler and Jordan Goodwin both got NBA contracts out of, you know, coming out of the go-go because when their name was called, they came up and played minute for minutes. So that is the big key. They're going to develop him right. They're going to get, He's going to get quality minutes in the G League. You know, he's going to be able to get his confidence up, which is key with a young player like Tristan Vucevic, man. And with the rotation we have – with the Wizards, obviously, look, Alex R, he's probably the starting power forward. And you're going to see Kyle Kuzma at the wing, which I think is a really good move because I think Kyle Kuzma on the wing is going to give him the opportunity to be that score on the wing. I mean, he's going to be able to utilize his size to his his advantages on the wing. So I think that's a good spot for Kyle Kuzma, man. Yes, he can play the four, but 
He's going to eat on the wing, man. He's going to eat on the wing. And I think that Alex Saar, man, is great starting at power forward. And obviously, Jonas Valanciunas is going to start as center. You know, Marvin Bagley III will see injuries. But I think we all can agree that he's definitely an intriguing young talent who, you know, still very, very young. And so, yeah, he obviously needs to learn how to take care of his body, you know, deal with the injuries, get himself ready for, the, the you know, the longevity of an 82-game schedule. But, you know, Getting back to Tristan Vucevic, good move, good move because we you don't have to rush him, you know. I get it, it's a rebuild, and yeah, we have you know we have accumulated some veteran talent. You know, obviously, you know Malcolm Brogdon coming over in the uh, the Denny trade to Portland. Obviously, you know uh, Jonas Valanciunas and Kyle Kuzma are the vets on the team as far as you know being the mentors. And I think you know I like that because we, and I get it when you look at the moves. You know Jonas Valanciunas, I think overall people thought it was a good move because we got him on the cheap. And you're looking at the fact that he could be a mentor to Alex Saar and also to Martin Bagley III. You know, um, I think that if you look at the fact that, you know, availability is your best ability. The fact that he's been available to play, you know, he's been relatively, in, you know, injury free for the most part. You know, he could definitely work with Marvin Bagley III, who's a young center. So I think that, you know, Marvin Bagley III, the spine contract, you know, they, they're obviously looking to flip him at some point. So I think he can do wonders of Get his value up a little bit and work on him. Kyle Kuhn's the same thing, working with the wings, man, as far as Bilal. Um, you're very pivotal as far as being a leader for us. You know, Kyle Kuzma has been a really good leader in D.C. Uh, so you definitely want to see him work with the wings, you know, definitely work with Bilal. I know they have a relationship. Uh, Bilal had a previous relationship with Denny. Um, Jordan, you know, and the same thing with Malcolm Brockton and Jordan Poole. You know, Jordan Poole is going to be the, the starting point guard of the future. Now, when I say the future, the next three years. Now, obviously – it, it really depends on what division is going forward. I think we kind of know what, when you look at the draft class, if you look at the, you know, the Denny trade, and if you look at the, the two trades from last season, you know, Will Dawkins, again, is trying to put his his stamp on his front office. And we all knew that the only untouchable asset was Bilal Kulabali. And now it looks like they're building around Bilal and Alex Sarr. And they should, because that is a heck of a young tandem, in my opinion. So, um, so, you know, I, I like this move for Tristan Vucevic because we can take our time to develop. And, you know, we let these veterans on the roster because, like I said before in the previous videos, man, if you look at the contract, now obviously, you know, looking at the Denny trade, you know, Will Dog is, is going to explore a trade from most of the guys on the roster right now outside of the three guys we just drafted, you know, in Bilal Kulabali. You know, Kyle Kuzma is going to get interest because the fact of the matter is a contending team like the Sacramento Kings is going to need a 20-plus points to nice score in Kyle Kuzma. And, you know, if you, again, you know, if you look at this contract, it's team friendly for us and it's team friendly for teams that, again, want to add talent and not necessarily want to pay a humongous price to do so. You know, if you compare Kyle Kuzma to Brandon Ingram, what a potential package be, could be for him. You know, Kyle Kuzma is, is more of a market value. You know what I mean? His contract, the fact of the matter is you, your teams aren't going to have to break the bank to acquire him. And that's why it really works to the Wizards' advantage to take their time with them. Um, you know, same thing with Langer Shaman, you know, Tyus Jones, the list goes on. Will Dawkins is going to explore every avenue to move on from a lot of these veteran contracts. But the thing, the fact of the matter is this, the team's not going to contend in, in the next three years. And you can definitely, re, you know, keep Kyle Kuzma for the three years. Now, obviously, you want to get some value from him, right? So eventually, at some point, they're going to move him, whether it's this year's deadline, whether it's the next couple of years. But there's no rush. Same thing with Jonas Valanciunas. You know, he's here. You know, he's going to be three years, so he aligns with the timetable, which is in three years, Bill is going to be up for a rookie extension. And that's the first guy, the first domino as far as paying him his rookie extension. That's the first guy you want to pay in three years, man. And that's when a lot of these contracts, like Jordan Poole, Kyle Kuzma, and Jonas Valanciunas come off the books. So there's not a rush to really move any of the three because the thing that, you know, the name of the game right now is building value, building up Jordan Poole's value, you know, to see if he's a tradable asset at the deadline or a couple of years from now. Same thing with Kyle Kuzma. You know, definitely they're still asking for two first-round picks. And look, you know, I, I made it known that I think it's going to be hard, but not impossible. I think that if anybody can do it, Will Dawkins can knock it out. Now, you know, two first-round picks is definitely the starting point of any negotiations. I agree with that. Um, can you get two first-rounders? You know, I, I think I don't think it's impossible. You know, I think that's, you know, as time goes by, it's going to get a little harder, but it's not impossible. Okay, so, and you know, Jordan Poole, you know, he, this is the year they put the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. So how is all of this related to Tristan Vucevic? You've got the vets 
in place and Malcolm Brogdon is going to, you know, as far as mentoring the young talent we have, because Malcolm Brogdon is going to do a lot with the development of Jordan Poole, in my opinion, showing him the ropes, showing him the skills, showing him what he needs to do. The other integral parts of being a starting point guard, you know, he's a, he's a score first guard, you know, there's other parts to being a floor general. I think that Malcolm Brogdon is going to be a great veteran mentor to help him with that. And same thing with Bilal. Um, you can say the thing with um, Keyshawn George, you know, a lot of these young guys, you know, Kuzma is that vet, man. He's that guy who's going to show them the road. So, you know, you got guys in place veteran-wise. You know, Alex Sar and, and Bilal Kulabali, they're going to get significant minutes, man. So they, they're going to start. So you got everything in place where you can take your time and develop Tristan Vucevic. So this is a good move again. Um, Friday, we're going to look at a off-season recap, a current recap. Obviously, there's still moves that could happen. But we're going to take a look at some of the moves made on Friday and, and live re- on, on the live uh live video that is i was gonna say um live subject i guess like we do on friday so uh we're gonna talk about all the moves made by wood Dawkins because this is again another good move he's made you can take your time and you can develop tristan vucevic right let him cook down in the Cal city go-go and let his building's confidence up and then when marvin back the third is gone when rashawn holmes is gone you know you can bring him up and he can definitely be the backup if not eventually maybe if he works his way up to it the future as center for the Washington Wizards because Alex Sar potentially, you know, Alex Sar at him seven one and a potential seven footer at center man. That is, that is we got a tall lineup in the future and in the immediate because if you look at the fact that Jonas is six eleven, Alex Sar seven one, you know, Kuz is six ten, the last six eight, and then Jordan Poole six four. So you have a tall lineup. So a lot of possibilities, a lot, a lot to look forward to as a Wizard fan because again, a new era, you know, three new young pieces out of this draft and obviously Jonas Valachun is another veteran piece that's going to help these young guys um develop right so again I I like the move I think it's a good move I think it's definitely a good move not only for the Wizards but for Tristan Vucevic for him to take his time focus on get himself together and develop right and, and really let the you know development of staff do their thing especially the Capital City Gogo the resume speaks for himself they've been they've been able to do a great job with getting a lot of these young players ready so, so when a name is called they can come into the Wizards and play meaningful minutes so we're gonna get the new city edition jersey for the Washington Wizards I'm a big fan and I'm definitely gonna give me my first Bilal Kulabale jersey this year so we're gonna talk about but but before we do tonight's episode is brought to you by game time so as you guys know I'm a big sports head I go to a lot of games right now it's baseball season so you know, when I'm not, you know, when I'm trying to go to Camden Yards or Nats Park or minor league stadiums or even college baseball, you know, I've gone through every app there is. And to me, game time is the best one. And there's three main reasons why. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, last minute deals. You can save up to 60% off buying last minute tickets, not only for sports tickets, but for concerts, comedy shows, theater shows, etc. What else? All on pricing. This feature shows a total upfront with no surprise fees to check out, which is big. You know, what you pay is what you pay without all the surprise fees at the end that break your heart, right? Uh, and three, seat views. Get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy you, so you know what your field of view is. This is definitely key with baseball games. Uh, there's been horror stories at FedEx Field when people sit behind a beam. So that is definitely a, definitely a big plus. So look, take the guesswork out of buying Major League Baseball tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use promo code LOCKEDONNBA for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. And again, create an account and redeem code locked on NBA for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Are you watching Fox Sports or ESPN on your TV all day long? At the turn down the volume with all that shouting, make the switch to Locked On Sports today. A free 24 7 sports streaming channel program for you every single day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. Locked On Sports Today brings you can't miss analysis, opinions, and news. Streaming 24 7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every single day, y'all. All right. So, as you guys know, uh, the Wizards have released their um, their City Edition jerseys this year. And and uh, let's see if I can pull up a picture, but um, if I can do the screen. But it, um, if you guys have seen it, it is sexy, man. So, I guess that what we're going to talk about going out tonight is comment below. Let me know what is your top five City Edition jerseys? Now, I'm going to go back a little bit, and I don't think they're part of the, the poll or whatever, but I don't know if you guys remember the original district ones where it said uh, District of Columbia. You have the red, you had the blue, you had the white. Um, and trying to think the other color, man, but big and, and the black one, the, the Bradley Bill one. So those are my favorites. I love those. But looking at the ones um, last year's uh, Boundary Stone one was dope. The pink one, I'm not big on, but this year's is nice, man. So, you know, I definitely encourage you guys to 
to take a look at the new city edition jersey if you have man because it is dope and it is dope 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 so um what, what jerseys do you guys think i should get this year man like i said if you look at my closet man obviously i have a lot of um the former r word for the football team in washington um one Washington football team, one was Chase Young and a bunch of commanders, a couple of commanders. Uh, Jay, I got Jay Daniels, but look at the Wizards, man. I got a couple of John Walls, a Bradley Bill, a Rui Hachimura, um, Russell Westbrook, Gilbert Arenas, Kyle Kuzma, and Jordan Poole, and Bradley Bill, obviously. So, Bilal Kulabali is next, man. So, should I roll with a Bilal Kulabali or should I roll with Alex Hart? What do you guys think? So, definitely comment below and let me know what you think. But also, what is your favorite one? And uh, what was your favorite city edition jersey? And do you guys think that the city edition thing is is a plus? Um, and you know, even if you want to go farther, uh, what other teams do you like? Because I know the you know the 76ers got some nice ones. So um definitely let me know what you guys are thinking, man. As far as what is your favorite city edition jersey, definitely um want you guys to check out the new one because it is fire, in my opinion. Like yeah, I mean the blue and the red. Um, like I said, I'm probably looking to pick up my new um my first black Kulabali this year. Um, I was gonna pick up a Denny man, but obviously he's now a trailblazer, so that ship has sailed, maybe, but I can still probably do that because his, his jersey is going to be on discount. <laughs> I ain't trying to throw no shade, man, but it is. So, um, definitely looking forward to grabbing me maybe a, Dele, uh, a Denny and Bilal. But definitely, let me, you guys, let me know what your favorite um, city edition jerseys have been up to this point. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the the um, the pink one, the, the, the cherry blossom one. Um, the, the previous one was the where they mixed the, the eras, whereas the the blue and the red, where they try to go with the Gilbert Arenas era and John Warren. I want a big fan of that one. Um, and I know that the Russell Westbrook one, the gray one, I do like that one because I'm a big Georgetown fan, and I think that was a good one. Um, but my top three would be – I'm going to be real with you. The new one is my number one. And like I said, I, the, my favorite favorites are the, one, the original ones, like where it says the District Columbia on there, where it was the red, the black, the white, and the blue. And, I, and like, I got a couple blues in the closet, man. It was Rui and the Kuzmas. But uh, you guys let me know. Um, and I, before I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing the sweet sticks, I got to clear it with my manager and my network if I can do so. But I want to do a, a sweet stakes um, to see if we can um, get a winner on here, man. See if we can get somebody a New Jersey. Because like I said, I'm a big fan of the New Jersey, man. So definitely comment below. What, what are your favorite uh, city edition jerseys, man? So, But again, I definitely, definitely think you guys can definitely check it out, man. I, um, when I get the news and the timetable of when they're going to probably um, – put them out for sale i'll let you guys know because i'm definitely gonna grab me one so uh so that's gonna be it everybody um tomorrow is fourth of july so obviously we're not gonna do any kind of content tomorrow night um but friday i will be doing a live live topic there we go topic i remembered it now a live topic so the discussion is going to be about the off season man we're going to see really grade the off season or really let's grade all the moves made by will dawkins so far because in my opinion, he's done a great job. Now, there's still some moves that need to be happen that need to happen this offseason. Is he's not guaranteed, but you know, Ty Jones signing trade, Landry Shaman, do they move on from him? Corey Kispert, another name that has been linked to trade rumors, and also obviously Kyle Kuzma. So a lot of you know, a lot of, we got a lot of guys on the roster who are, are linked to potential trades, but uh, we're gonna look at Will Dawkins man so far. You know, and I guess I'm gonna ask the question. What would he need to do for him to be considered one of the better GMs? So uh, we're definitely – I'm looking forward to chopping up with you guys. It's been a, it's been a week or two, man. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, chopping up with you guys live on Friday night, man. So, look, uh, before we roll, definitely hope everybody has a safe and blessed 4th of July. If you're traveling, definitely be safe on the roads, man, if you, especially if you're on the interstate. Interstate is crazy, man. So definitely be safe, everybody. Definitely drink responsibly. Everybody have a blessed 4th of July. And don't forget, everybody, Um, I'm a military say guy. I know we got viewers – listeners who are military either you're active duty or you're a vet don't forget everybody you know you take a shot or at least you know 30 seconds a minute um you know take some silence man um to remember that you know a lot of you know military sacrifice for us to enjoy a fourth of july man so don't you know don't forget that man you know obviously you know we look at the holidays like memorial day and veterans day but fourth of july you know it took a lot of sacrifice for us to have the freedom that we have in this country man so definitely consider that man take a one minute uh, moment of silence man and take a shot for our our, our gentlemen in uniform our, our men and women in uniform excuse me so uh definitely definitely again you guys enjoy your fourth of july i will see you guys on friday night so locked on has launched the first ever national sports 24 7 streaming channel on youtube and now it's also available on amazon fire tv and the free fire tv channels app locked on sports today is here for you 24 7 covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of locked on plus the national shows covering every league Find Locked On Sports Today, now available on the free Fire TV channels app. 
So again, everybody be safe. Have a good 4th of July. Hail to the Wizards and peace. See you guys on Friday night.